Alright people, welcome back to some more Daily Duels. So today is Thursday, and that means that we are using Burning Abyss. So, uh, how long will Burning Abyss be lasting on Daily Duels? I don't know. I'm starting to fall out of love with this deck. It's just a little bit too luck-based for my taste right now, and I just can't stand it. <laughs> I, I just can't, so. Uh, hmm, who should I summon? I think I'll go ahead and summon Sir. No, not Sir. Graph. Okay, I'm my master in second, so I'll go ahead and go into Graf, go into Dante. Mill, which I hate, of course. I'm not going to mill much, I'm just going to mill one. No reason to overextend mill. That's, that's probably the reason why I can't stand this deck, is because Dante is so prevalent, but I hate milling. No, my fire light, great. I didn't want to do that, but alright. I just, I can't. I can't, I can't stand the millage. I can't at all. And that's the reason why I'm just going to give up on this deck. Oh, I almost missed play it. I wanted to set this. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, uh, I guess I'll be go ahead and talking about my Utah experience. So let's say you could once per turn you can choose this card. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Number generators being nice to me to this duel. Gave me fucking tour guide and vanities. Like, like nah, how about you just don't? <laughs> like, nah, you don't need that lone fire. Black Garden. Okay, I guess. I ain't gonna give you any fucking tokens, I know that. Oh, but I guess I'll go ahead and activate my effect. And mill. Oh, oh, mill. Oh, it says when a card is sent from your deck to the graveyard. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, messed up again. I was like, oh, it's not. If it's detached from material, I'll be fine. But no, because it's when it milled. That was bad. That was bad, and I should feel bad for being bad. I'm bad. <laughs> That was just terrible. That was, that was just, ugh, like, wow, good job, Daniel. Good fucking job. <laughs> you fucked up. You don't, you don't gone and fucked up. Mm-hmm. So, I already talked about the tournament report on that terrible video. I apologize for that video. I swear to God. I didn't record it. It wasn't on my camera or anything. It just came out terrible. And I apologize. I definitely want to apologize. Ah... Uh, Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do. I guess I can go ahead and that's three match in a second. Turn Scar and Pitch Farfoot and go ahead and banish that to the win phase. And go ahead and poke him for some more damage. But, you know, I at least want to know what this card is. I could probably just run it over. Maybe not. Maybe it'll just have such a high booty that I won't even be able to get around it. I have no idea. Huh? Let's find out. Let's go ahead and turn the powerful ass dark wall. No, oh, of course. I'm still my attack before my attack gets dropped. Like of course. <laughs> Just through bottomless. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. Love how I keep on running into these perfect situations and shit. I could go for Downer, but wouldn't Downer just be weaker than the Dante itself? I'm okay right now. Yeah. Skarm, go ahead and get me another Farfa. That sucking caught me off guard like hella. I didn't think it was going to be bottomless, not at all. Solid warning? Oh, that's fine, yeah. Sure, I guess you could take my Dante. Oh, the skill drain. The powerful ass skill drain. 
Hmm. Nah, I guess I'll have to make this. Get my tour guide back. That's why I like this card. Because I can't summon any other Burning Rifts right now because of fucking Rose Lover, but. Yeah. I'll be fine. So, I want to go ahead and go tour guide. I'll do this play later with the skill drain. Probably summon just another Dante. Tour guide, summon Don. Summon. But who do I want to summon though? Do I have any Burning Abyss in here? Do. Arpa. I can summon Sir and then detach Mill Sir. Summon back Farfa. Farfa will die. Then I can go ahead and banish his monster. I, I, I'm supposed to get around my Dante though. Like, my Dante with that 25 booty is going to be a bitch to deal with. Like, oh, thank you, Creature Swap. Being such a dick right now that I don't even know how to get around my own fucking shit. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know. If I normal summon this and I banish this, then there goes my normal summon for the turn. Yeah, I'll do that later. Uh, the monster returned to his field, will not it? Yeah, the Dante is going to return to his field. Damn it, I don't know what to do. This duel is hard. <laughs> this duel is hard. A fucking creature swap, though. Like, of course. Fucking creature swap. You guys know how much I love that fucking card. And by love that fucking card, I mean hate it with a fucking passion. I hate creature swap. God, my kingdom for a fucking fire lake, but I need to get rid of a fucking Dante. So I guess I'm only gonna go up to 2,000 attack instead. And mill. Terrible mills, like usual. See? I can't stand it. I can't. 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 I cannot fucking stand this shit. God, I hate milling. Makes me like just fucking off myself right now. Don't you have, like, pierce damage, Donner? Yeah, you do have pierce damage. Ah, might as well go into you. Why not? Oh, because I'm going to get cut in half down to 12. <laughs> Still's annoying. <laughs> hmm. I hate Black Garden, I hate this whole situation. <laughs> like, am I seriously gonna lose the fucking plants with Burning Abyss? Like, what the fuck? No, I milled a pedo. I milled a, I milled a pedo. I could probably handle that. Really, I just wanna get rid of my Dante. I'll get rid of my Dante. Hmm. It really doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. You go ahead and give me a fire lake. And you can go ahead and give me back. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I really don't give a shit. Sure, that doesn't matter. Then that's why I like that's why I put Pedro in here. I guess. I don't know. Send him Dante back, it doesn't matter. This duel is 
fucking stupid. <laughs> Alright, next turn I'm gonna go ahead and summon Graf. Graf's gonna summon Sir. Sir's going to. I have one more. I have a Sir left, right? Do I have any Sirs left? Oh, yeah. yeah. So Graf summons Sir. Sir summons back my other Dante, and then I have Fire Lake. I have Fire Lake your ass. So. You can get all the fucking tokens you want. I don't give a shit. And die anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yes, sir. You can get all the tokens you want. I don't care. So what does it say? If exactly one of the pen type monsters you control is destroyed by another card, it's destroyed just by battle by card effect. You can target one card, destroy it. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you can do that. Sure, go ahead and turn your monsters to defense mode. I don't care. I should have got rid of this Rose Lover though. I uh, should have summoned and crashed. Did I fire like your ass now? You're the you, you, and you. I don't even care about the fucking shit. Yeah. No. No, not yet. Not yet. Oh, another fire like. Ah. Nice and powerful. I'll take it. I have life points to spare. I'll take the damage. I don't care. I just need that bitch off my field. Like, definitely need that bitch off my field. Like, no more creature swap. Hate that card so much. Hate that card with passion. So you're probably just gonna go ahead and activate World Tree. I didn't see that coming. I'm gonna fire it like your ass. Oh yeah, love my effects. I'm supposed to be talking about my Utah experience and I ain't talking about shit right now because I'm so goddamn busy trying to pay attention to this damn duel. Um, sure. And it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, but it doesn't really matter. In the whole retrospect of things, I'll be fine. Oh sure, give me a brick. I already have another fire lake, so I don't need another another fire lake right now. Actually, I kind of do. Eh, it's okay. <clears throat> and you got all them tokens. Oh, God. Oh, shit. He's going to secret summon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. I'm going to like a clear wing or something. <laughs> you can go into like a clearing or something, you mean like this? Like, yeah. Exactly what I mean. Hmm. Hmm. I might just go crane, crane, summon back one of my, my burning abyss. XC into another Dante. Dante, mill three, crash into the clear wing. Uh. Then main phase two, go ahead and special summon to my burning abyss and set the fire lake. So it might just come down to that guy's back row right now. Oh yeah, he has something. Oh yeah, he has something. The number generator has definitely, definitely blessed him with something. So I guess I'll just be looking forward to seeing what happens. Yeah, fun sensor. He has something down there, back there, Maybe like a solemn warning or something. You can negate the summon or activation if you do destroy the target. Okay. Well, 
So Dante, go ahead and return me Dante. And Don and Sir, go ahead and summon me Dante. I hope I got that right, because one I want to return the extra deck, and then the other one I want to be summoned. So nope, I fucked it up. All right, awesome. <laughs> awesome. What I summon you? I was thinking about going for uh, what's his name? I still won't do it, but I just didn't want to do that play. I crashed over a drum draw card. That's fun. Got so many goddamn burning abyss shit. Oh, crush card. Awesome. <laughs> I actually get to finally use this card. I didn't mill it. Do I have any other Burning Abyss monsters that I haven't activated this turn? Sure. Summon you. Why am I summoning you? Just for crush. I mean, just for uh, Fire Week again. Alright. I'll get to I'll get to talking. I, talk, I had to focus a lot on this goddamn duel. A lot. So. A poisonous, the uh, that pollinus, pol, pol, pollinus. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Mhm. Mm Fine. Forgot that it was unaffected by my trap cards. So that's interesting. This is an interesting duel, I'm gonna say. This turn. Alright, this turn. Um, doesn't matter. No, it really doesn't matter. Do I want to activate Farfoot to banish? And, uh, look, look, I'm just getting plays. I'm getting plays. Alright. Exactly. When I to watch, you control another card. We destroy battle by card effects and sense of gravity. I'm going to go ahead and crank current, summon you back, summon you back. Go ahead and pitch you some, get rid of you. Or pitch anybody. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. Ah, I like crank current. Crank current puts in that work. That's a rubric. It's dual though. It's dual though. I wanted to talk about my Utah experience, but I'm just so focused on this duel because this guy is actually doing some pretty good plays. This duel is not terrible. So don't fuck me up. Because it looked like you are about to fuck me up, so don't fuck me up. So I know I'm not going to lose to some random ass plant deck with Burning Abyss. 14 cards left in the deck. Kind of all milled out. Not really planning on milling or doing much of that anymore. Nah, I'm okay. I don't want decks hit any harder than I'm already doing right now. So let's see what else we got. I stop all your I stop your plays, but then you golf with more plays. So you gonna send another rose lover? You have another giga plant? It's from your hand, right? Some giga plant? Oh nope, some some dandy, some lucky tokens. This man is holding on. This man is holding on. 
Yep, it's gonna use her again. Summon you. Alright. Aren't you a tuner? Why don't you turn you can target one? Oh shit, I might get black roast. So once per turn, you can select one face of pawn monster on the field. This one is kind of equal to just like monster. You can have it become three. The tuner, yeah, you can be rose me. The question is, do I care? Not really. I really don't mind if you want to be rose me. Nah, go ahead. If you want to be rose me? Go ahead. Go right ahead, sir. I don't care if you black rose me. You're pretty much using up all the cards that you have in your arsenal, so. That's fine. You're gonna be out of cards on the field and in hand, this, and that's pretty much it. So, I don't care. Be rose me. I don't care. I get to draw a card, and I get to go ahead and grab a card back. Like, go ahead, be rose me. Then I could just go ahead and you know special summon you, normal summon you, tap tap, and then bam, I have five. Like, nope, he's gonna go for six. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Once per turn, you can remove and play one player type monster from your graveyard to have the attack of this. I want you to this card attacks are in the same battle. Like, you can play blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and fire like you now. Not as a good time as any. Yeah, that's not that. Alright, quickly, 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 quickly. I'm going to save my Udot experience because I already have the title of the video. I'm going to be playing this. I'm going to do it real quick, real quick. Alright, here we go. So, I rarely leave this. I rarely leave the city. Rarely. Uh, I've only been to a couple of places. I live in Las Vegas. I've only been to California a couple, a handful of times, I'd say. Maybe like five to seven times I've been to California. Uh, of course, Anaheim being one of them times. And uh, I've been to Ohio once when I was like super young. I think like five or six to visit my mom's family in Ohio. That's it. I don't leave the freaking city. I don't leave Las Vegas. So when I was... And they were like, hey, you want to come to the Utah Regionals? And I was just like, eh, I was kind of hesitant because, you know, I hate my luck when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! And as you guys saw from the tournament report, I did, my luck was terrible. But I was like, you know what, screw it. I want to go to Utah. I want to, I want to, I want to travel. So I was like, sure, you know what, I'll go ahead and go. I don't really care if I top or do anything well in the tournament. I don't care. I just want to go to Utah. So I uh, we went ahead and went to Utah. So uh, pretty much I went with Team Ninja. Uh, they got that, uh, that, uh, Guess upload to my channel, Team Ninja. I got a couple more videos with them, but I mean, I'll be uploading them soon. But uh, I went with, you know, I'm not sure if I can say their names or not. Uh, I, I probably shouldn't. Uh, I, I haven't asked them, like, hey, hey, can I say your name on YouTube? But I guess they have a YouTube channel, but I guess maybe they don't want to know the real names. I don't know. I don't know. I'm with a handful of people. Uh, I was a token black guy. Yes, I was a token black guy. I was the only black guy. You know, uh, we had two white guys, uh, a Mexican. <laughs> Uh, a girl and then a black guy, so yeah, you know, we were just missing an Asian person, uh, but uh, it was just the five of us. So the drive to Utah took a cool minute. It was like I'd at least say like six, seven hours. It was it was a drive. It was a drive, and uh, besides sleeping, I was actually kind of smart, and I decided, you know, what? instead of being super bored on the trip, of course I brought my DS, played a little bit of Monster Hunter, but I didn't play much. Still playing Monster Hunter, of course, but uh, <coughs> I also was smart, and before I went on the trip, I downloaded a whole bunch of the animes, uh, the anime that I was watching, onto my laptop, downloaded them. So, I don't need internet access, I could just, you know, watch them on the player. Uh, the, if you're wondering, the anime I was watching was Toriko. Uh, at that time, it was like, episodes 20 through 40, like, you know, 20 episodes. I didn't watch them all, the entire trip, but I watched a nice chunk of them. But, <clears throat> I say was watching, because... Torkel has 144 episodes. I watched all of them. I'm actually reading the manga now. So, yeah. I got that bored. Over over my two weeks of not doing YouTube videos, that's what I did. I watched the crap out of Toriko. But, um, yeah. So, I just pretty much took my laptop out and watched Toriko. Uh, pretty much, the Mexican guy and the girl, they're a couple. Those two drove me, drove me crazy the entire trip. Like... I don't know what it is, but I hate seeing other people happy and together, and it's just like, fuck you, why do you have a girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Why did you even bring a girl on this goddamn trip? But he brought his girl, and they were all cuddling and hugging and being disgusting. But uh, pretty much, they always wanted to sit next to each other. And because they always wanted to sit next to each other, guess who didn't have to sit bitch in the middle? This guy. I never. Those two always would switch, you know? One would sit in the middle, one would sit in, you know, to, to the door, and they would always switch off. But 
I never had to sit in the middle. I always got a door seat, so a window seat. Why oh, I say a door seat? Hello, window seat. So uh, that was awesome. So I just whipped out my laptop and watched some Tori Cal. You know? uh, trip there it was fine. It was much colder in Utah than I was anticipating. And it was like super Mormon, super Mormon place. Yeah, you know? I, I was like, you know, really come on, you know, a black guy in Utah. <gasps> I'm surprised people didn't take out a camera and take pictures of me. But uh, it's super Mormon, super Mormon. There's like a church on every street. It seems like if you move to Utah, it's like, hey, welcome to Utah. Here is your uh, complimentary church. <laughs> but church on like every every corner. So we left Thursday night, like early Friday morning, like at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, we got there at like 7 or 8, got to the hotel room. The hotel room was nice. It was really nice. Compared to the one in Anaheim, I like this one a lot better. It was nice. Uh, two beds, uh, you know, your table, your TV, it's cool. Uh, it had much better internet than Anaheim. Anaheim internet was booty. This one was actually pretty decent. It wasn't the best. It kept on disconnecting, especially when it rained and it stormed. Because it did rain and storm there in Utah uh, with their crazy weather. You know, sometimes, it was, sometimes it was shining and then sometimes it was just storming. But, uh, uh, you know, internet was totally chill, totally chill. Uh, how the beds worked, uh, the first night, because we were there for two nights. Yeah, we were there for two nights. The first night, uh, two white guys actually happened to share a bed, you know, flipped upside down, you know, not spooning each other. They probably were spooning each other, but, you know, and then the couple had their own bed, of course. Uh, I decided to go ahead and just stay on the floor. I'd rather keep to myself, stay on the floor. Uh, and the floor was super uncomfortable the first night. Like, uh, I was uncomfortable, and I actually got four cramps in one night. Four fucking cramps. It was just terrible. And my arms and legs were hurting for, like, days, because they were just so, the muscles were so tense, it just hurt. So, I had a great first night. The second night wasn't as bad. You know, I moved to where I was sleeping, got more, gave myself more room, and it slept totally fine, you know? Ah, uh, Utah was chill. Uh, we went to like this local store, this local supermarket, like you know your Smiths, but I forgot its name. I totally forgot its name, but it was like a Smiths, and uh, we were shopping for some food. Yes, we need some food to take back to the hotel room so we can eat. You know, we're not gonna go out to restaurants all the damn time. You know, uh, we went to the, the shop and. One of my favorite drinks is Sobe. I love Sobe. And it's one of the best deals you can get. It's 10 for 10. You know, you pay $10, you get 10 drinks. Went down there, man. They had, it was 10 for 10, except it wasn't 10 for, it was 10, 10, except they were 69 cents. So pretty much 10 for $6.90, not including tax. I was like, gimme the whole fucking thing. And I bought it and then we just drank some Sobe and then they had chips and they were like, the big Doritos back at the family time was about two for three dollars. I was like, wow, everything is just so cheap here. I want to live here. I didn't want to live here either. But I was just so happy that everything was just so cheap. And it was awesome. It was awesome. So uh, they had a ton of different restaurants that were unique to Utah. So we were like, when we went to go out to eat, we are like, you know what, let's go somewhere unique. Let's try something new. We're like, all right, let's go. So we were driving around looking for a place, you know, where we went. <laughs> We went to goddamn Panda, yeah. <laughs> let's go try something new. Oh my God, look, there's a like. It was like let's try something new down the street, and then again, uh, one of the guys was talking on the phone, and he was just like Panda, and then we just went to Panda Express. So, yeah, that was the first day. The second day, when we were at the after the tournament, we actually went to like um, this uh, local restaurant called D's. D's nuts. Ha, got him. <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, we went to uh, D's. And uh, they had this thing on the menu, and it's called Mr. D Special. And they were just like, oh, D, this is your restaurant, D. Because, you know, they call me D, short for Daniel, of course. But uh, the restaurant was actually pretty good. They were like, you know, we got some fries. And they're like, do you want a fry sauce with that? What the fuck is that? She's like, oh, yeah. You know, I forgot you guys aren't from Utah. Like, no, what the fuck is that? She's like, it's a mix between mayonnaise and ketchup. Like, hey, uh, you know, I'm like, sure, you know, what, whatever. I'll try it. So it was okay. You know, I still prefer just regular ketchup. You know, all I had was a burger. You know, when you go to a place that you've never been to before, when you order, you always order a burger. <laughs> always order a burger. That's the safest choice. You know, so we had just ordered a burger, and it was pretty good. It's pretty good. Kind of expensive, but still pretty good. Uh, I already talked about the tournament. The locals was kind of shitty. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, we stayed there for. You know, we got there Friday, stayed Friday to Saturday, Saturday to Sunday, left Sunday, 
and uh, got home fairly early, like I'd say around like eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Still woke up the next day to even go and donate. So uh, the ride back was just. It, it seemed like the ride back was longer than the ride down. Maybe because actually when we left, it was like early. Well, not early, but it was like maybe like twelve two in the afternoon. And there's actually an hour difference, so we when going back we actually gained an hour. So it was like it was like it's six o'clock and we got back into Vegas time. It's like it's still six o'clock, even though an hour has passed, it's still back to six o'clock. Um they went to like this indoor mall sports place that had like a Ferris wheel and I didn't want to go, so I literally just stayed in the car and watched more Torico. And I thought they were gonna be there for twenty minutes. They were in there for like two, three hours. I was just like, Oh, come on guys, like wow. So the ride back, it, I wasn't tired, so, you know, I was awake for the majority of the time. I still, you know, kind of dozed off, but I was awake for the majority of the time, just listening to music. My laptop died. On the way back, man, I was the saddest man ever, man. You, I was singing, like, you know, that Adventure Time song where everything is dead in the episode with the bears. I was singing that, except for all my technology. I was like, my cell phone is dead. My DS is dead. My laptop is dead. <laughs> and everything was dead. So I was like bored out of my mind. Like them being in there that place for like two, three hours killed my laptop battery while I was watching Toriko. I so I was just bored. I was just bored. So on the way back we uh stopped at uh something city. I forgot what it's called. I think it starts with like a C or something. It starts it stops at some city, you get some gas, and inside the gas station was a fucking dairy queen. So one of the guys went and got a got, got some a blizzard, came back and look at it and give us this dumb ass look. I got out of the car, I'm like, move motherfucker. He's like, What, you wanna send the front seat? I'm like, No. I went, God damn dairy queen. I was a goddamn blizzard. So I went and got a blizzard. And then the other guy came in a blizzard, and then a couple guys went everybody got a fucking blizzard. It was funny, so we you know all getting a blizzard. Now, I don't go to Dairy Queen that often, so I was like, Hey, hey blizzard So uh got a blizzard and then I didn't eat it all. I got a large, I don't know why I fucking got a large, because that's just way too much blizzard. You know, I got uh, the strawberry short, no. Yeah, did I get strawberry shortcake? I think, I don't know. I don't know the flavors, fucking Dairy Queen. There were strawberries, or, or is it, I think it was like cream, uh, like a cheesecake or something. I think it was like cheesecake. I think that's it, it's cheesecake. And it was just filling. I, I got like maybe so like halfway and I was like, nope, I'm done. And it ended up just melting in the back seat. Well, not like literally in the back seat. Like it was still in the cup. I put it in the little, you know, back seat holder and then and just melting in them when we got back to Vegas, back to the house, I just threw it in the trash. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty fun experience. It was a pretty fun experience. You know, I said the only thing that sucks was just the couple. And if they're watching this, I apologize, but I uh, I just didn't like it. It was too gushy and mushy, and it made me sick to my stomach, and I couldn't stand it. So, you know, uh, if those two go on another trip as a couple, I will not go. I will not. You know, I, I did not enjoy their presence. You know, I have nothing against her. I have nothing against him. I just don't like them as a couple. You know, I just don't like seeing them as a couple. Simple as that. Now, maybe call me a hater if you want to, but I just don't like it. You know, we're supposed to have gone on this trip and have fun and play Yu-Gi-Oh and be, you know, it's supposed to be a man trip, and she just kind of grilled it up, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I apologize for talking so much. I wish I could have talked while dueling, but god, that duel, that duel took a lot, it took a lot of thinking, and he had some pretty good plays, pretty good plays. Yeah, that duel turned around from stally token shit to him going aggressive and doing plays, and it, it was a good duel. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. If I bored you with this talking, I mean, hey, the duel ended. You guys can go ahead and just end the video if you want to hear me talking. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with Fireface, but I'm thinking about taking that deck off just because it's just getting cut. Kind of, it's like with Volcanics where it was shiny and new for like one or two episodes, and after that, it's just like it just does the same play every duel. So, I'm probably going to take it off and put something else on next Friday. So anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for support, and yeah, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with uh, Firefest. Alright people, thanks for watching.